baby. Here we are again for another episode of Jack, that's me, of all games. And today, uh, this is something that uh, uh, producer, director, guru behind the, the, the room that you don't see, Bradley, but he did bowl, so now you know what he looks like. Um, created. I uh, didn't bowl, actually. That was Keith. Oh, that's right. That was Keith. Yeah, it was you four. Make believe Keith was Bradley. They've seen me in past seasons. They've seen you in past seasons. But anyway, this is what he said. He created some type of a game, an arcade in a box. Kind of yeah. like, you know, uh, wine in a box. You know, you can buy a box of wine. You get an arcade in a box. Yeah, this is how I prefer to spend my nights. Right. Playing arcade in a box. Arcade in a box. So I uh, yeah, I, I made it. I made it to be able to carry an arcade around uh, wherever I go. Actually, I made it for my father-in-law, but uh, that's besides the point. It can play a lot of arcade games, a lot of classic games, and today we're gonna play one of many of those. One of my favorites. Um, I don't play much arcade games, but Unreal shooters are some of my favorites. So today we're gonna play 1941. And I guess I'm going to be an airplane shooting down other airplanes and stuff? Or yeah. Huh. So an on-rail shooter is where you're always traveling in one direction, but you can kind of move around the screen as you please. Okay. Yeah. And you're always shooting, you know, forward. Uh, and there's enemies that kind of come, you know, from all directions, typically. Okay. So I'm seeing in this uh, little video that's going by that there's a ship there, too. Can I bomb ships and stuff or just shoot down planes? Y you just kind of, you shoot... The ships, even though they're on ground level, it kind of just assumes that you shoot them. So as long as you are facing them, yeah. you'll, ca you'll get the drift as okay. you play. And what's my, my trigger finger going to be? Uh, the B button. The B button is the, is the trigger. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, let's give it a shot. I mean, what can I do, fail? Yeah. <laughs> you know? so, so go ahead and um, the way we make these arcade games work when we're emulating is... Uh, press the select button, and that pretends that you've just inserted a quarter okay, into we, the arcade. We ready? Yep. Select. All right, so you have one credit. Okay. Now you can press uh, the start button to get going. Okay. And to control your ship, you use that joystick. Okay. Just like, it's like a massive controller on the table, right, basically. I could actually, oh boy. So that's you, you're green. All right, so I should be and, shooting. Yep, those guys uh, are, well, everybody except you is your enemy. Uh, eventually you will get some... Well, what are the green ones are my enemy too? Yep. Yeah, every, everything. Um, if you get that orange plane in front of you, if you go up to that, you'll get wingmen. This guy here? Yeah. So now you have two wingmen that'll help you shoot. Oh man, they just got killed. I did too. I'm dead, right? Yep, so all you have to do is press select. Okay, and quickly. Yep. You, know, you know what I'm going to do? I think I can well, actually gonna be watch over this game on the big screen over there instead of looking here. It's the same thing, right? If you want, yeah. Yeah, let me do that because then I won't need these and I won't get right. dizzy looking up and down. Yeah, I can um, I can switch to full screen at no, some no, point once good. you get into I can, it. I can see that real good. So I'm going to hit select yep. first. Yep, so insert the coin. Select. Now I hit start. Yep. Finger on B. All right, let's go. North Atlantic, altitude 20,000 feet. So, the, the kind of annoying thing about this game is you have to just spam the B button. And it can get kind of old, um, you know, quick, but uh, I really just like the, the fast-paced kind of nonsense of it. Well, it. It really doesn't matter. You know, you're just kind of screwing around, wasting time. What about these big bombers? They just take more bullets? Yeah, they take a little bit more to kill. Um, the the trick with them is they come from behind so you, you even though you you know you naturally want to spend a lot of time towards the bottom of the screen because most of your enemies are coming from the uh, from the top they kind of keep you on your toes all right you know I've noticed if you hold down the button it, sh it shoots a burst uh, yeah I think it'll shoot about four or five shots oh, um, but I you have to keep again. pressing it so Price. right now if you press select yeah. To insert a coin and then press start, you won't have to start over again. All right, so what I want to do oh, is... Now it's game over. All right, so I hit putting okay. in another coin, right? Yeah, let's see. Are you getting credits? I can't tell. Go ahead and press start. Let's see, ah. if, uh, see if it starts a new game. 
Yeah, no, we didn't make it in time. That's all right. All right, so now I'm going to You can actually press, over. yeah, press uh, start, I think, to get out of here. All right, now press select a few times. Give yourself some more credits so you don't have to keep starting the game over. Yeah, just keep going. All nice. right, that's nice. Nice, you can go. Yep. So um, a question I have is, yeah. where's my score and what am I doing to win? <laughs> uh, so... You're just trying to get as far as you can. Um, just like any other game, there's there's regular enemies, and then there's like mini bosses and full bosses. Okay. Um, it's basically just as many enemies as you can take out, the more points you get. Okay, so I got no heat-seeking missiles with uh, uh, atomic bomb tips in 1941. Well, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what technology they had uh, in real life back then, but... Uh, you can upgrade your weapons as you progress. You know, remember how you picked up that plane and you got those wingmen? Yeah. You can pick up weapons too. All right now, how do I get the wingmen things. again? I, just any plane yeah. in front of me, or is if it a... you shoot, uh, if you kill an enemy, they have a chance to drop that, I believe. So okay. they just put it out on the battlefield for you, and then you just go collect it. Right. You'll notice that you know it's, it's it's just a stationary plane. It's not flying around like the rest ah, of them. Ah, okay. So it stands out. All right. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. B. Yeah, there you go. So you just got uh, wingmen and a new weapon. So you should be firing a little bit different than you were. And the nice thing about wingmen is they uh, they aim to either either side. So they help you uh, in the peripherals. Periphery. Did I die again? I think you did. So all you have to do is press the start button and you can just keep going. I'm pushing it and nothing's happening. Huh. You're pushing start? Yeah. You had nine credits. Are you holding anything else right now? No. Huh. Not sure. Well, that's annoying. It's all right. That's how it should work, anyway. I'll tell you what. Next time you die, I'll, I'll come out there and see if I can figure out what's happening. What's that other thing up there? The thing you just collected? Yeah. That was a gun. So you got a, a new type of weapon. All right. So I can't even see where my. Okay. Now All right. So you have one one death left to give. Oh. Oh, maybe now you have one death left to give. I wanted to get that other thing I saw there. Oh, damn there it! There we go. All right. Press uh, press start. Start. Hmm. What is happening? All right, I'll actually come out next time. That's annoying. Um, as for your score, you you are one player, or player one at the top left of the screen, so you just got 46,000 points. Careful there. Just move it so I don't have to. This isn't as easy as it looks, you know. No, this is the. It's a tough game. What are those little helicopters? All right, that other thing's a weapon, right? I want that. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. All right, I'm going to come out there and see if I can help you with that start button. Wow, look at the things I'm shooting now. Oh, I just hit the big plane and died. I didn't die, but... these things coming at me. So, yeah, I, I think this is also... This, 
counts as the genre of bullet hell. Where just there's so many bullets flying on the screen that So that's a mini boss. But wild crap. But yeah, you got two presses fighting. I gotta press it like right away. Yeah. Any idea where I'm supposed to hit this thing? I think I died, hit start, okay, I'm back. So it's still asking you to push the button. Which I'm doing and nothing's happening. I don't understand that, it worked when I was out there. Oh, you're, you're up at the top right now, Jack. Where? You're not dead. I don't see it. Now press start. You, you were still oh. on screen. You hadn't died. I think I know what... Oh. All right, there you go. That's, uh, that's the stage. Oh, you mean I killed the boss? Yep. Wow. Okay, now what? Keep doing it. Next stage. Looking for a new weapon or something. I sunk a ship, right? Uh, I don't think you sunk it. You'd be able to tell it would look damaged. Die again? I don't uh, see. Now you did, yes. So when it asks you if you want to continue, uh, you, that's when you press start. Uh, whenever you have a free second, I would recommend hitting select a few times to insert a few uh, right, imaginary coins. Okay, so that's basically what I'm doing is putting coins in, right? Exactly, yeah. So. You've used a few coins. Uh, if this was, you know, back in the 80s, if you were in a real arcade, you, you would have spent uh, more than a few dollars by now. Is this a boss? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's just turrets on a, on a damn wall. And you do have to avoid them or shoot them. Uh, so right now you are in, like, what do you even call this, like a canyon? So you have to avoid the walls. Okay. Oh. Whew, I'm holding my breath here because I'm so... Birds. Alright. I'm really shooting at this thing and it won't damage it. I mean that thing's a huge enemy. So you just have to keep shooting. You are doing damage, uh, but it doesn't help that you don't have any wingmen, wingmen to help you. Careful how high you go. You're way up in the top right corner. I don't even now see. Now you're me. dead. I didn't there even see me. Oh, there I am. Well, I got some fires going on that ship. Yep. Yeah. No. It's it's nearly dead. I'd say it's beyond halfway. I'm looking for a wingman. I can't find a wingman. There we go. I hit the ammo dump. What happened? 
You beat it. I beat him. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 play. All right, go ahead and collect those two planes. Those are, uh, those are some right here. Yep, the yellow guys. There you go. Now you're getting all all different types of enemies, yeah, different I guess terrain, I am. different things to focus on. What army am I fighting? I, I'll be honest, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know if you're ally or Axis. There's a new gun up top left. I think that train's dead now. So just collect that gun. There you go. So I get points for shooting left. these big guys, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The more enemies you take out, the higher your score. You are at 414,210 points. Is that good? Well, it's approaching my high score. Yeah, but I'm throwing in a lot of coins. No, exactly. It's not like and that's that's the thing about you know playing fake arcade games. If you're not actually paying for it, you could just pay to win. But it doesn't make it any less fun, in my opinion. Ooh, this is like nerve-wracking. Says push button. Why? Uh, so that is player two. Oh. Um, if you had a second arcade setup, or like a uh, joystick setup, or in, in this system, you can plug in a USB controller or something and have a second player help you out. A lot of arcade games had two player functions because a, a lot of arcade cabinets would have uh, the joystick and button layout side by side. Yeah. So you could do a lot of co-op games, a lot of versus games. I get some cool really weapons. Cool. I just picked up another weapon. I don't know what yeah. it was. That yeah, looks like you got some big bombs. Oh, watch out for those walls. Looks like the big boss of the stage. Let's see if we can take him out. Got me. You're back in it, though. I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to shoot here. Oh, well, that's a good sign. He took out one of his engines. You, you want to stay towards the bottom of the screen, if you can help it. Yeah, it looks like you can hit pretty much anywhere in the entire skeleton. Try and take out that right engine. Yeah, that side. There you go. All right, now I'll just focus on the center. There he goes. <sighs> Tiring? Yeah, my top of tunnel. Oh shoot! I think he's still alive. Am I? You gotta oh, he's take still out alive? the missile, or I you gotta even... take out whatever that is, a warhead. There you go. Is. Oh, I'm, I'm hit. I wasn't hitting B. I yeah, wasn't firing. Sure keep hitting B. So you want to do your best to stay behind him. Oh, you got him. Nice. 
Good timing. What do you think about that, Jack? What do you there, think about Arcade? This was fun. Do you, what do you, do the controls feel? Yeah, they really. Right to you? I like them. They're a lot easier than those little gizmos. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have other games we can play? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to keep this this uh, arcade around for a little while. Yeah. We'll go through some of the cool old arcade games. I mean, you must know Pac Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pac Man, Mrs. Pac Man. Yeah. Asteroids. I don't know. Uh, your spaceship that has to shoot the asteroids around you to survive. I might, I might have seen I bet that. I've seen it. We'll, Pac-Man. We'll try that you know, one. I can yeah, do Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Uh, he eats everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and a lot more games. And Keith yeah. has some that he wants you to play. So. All right. Yeah. yeah we'll keep, play this for. Keep a few this weeks. around. I like this old school arcade by Bradley. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next week. See ya. All right. <laughs>